Paulo Antunes, ESPN. Um, you guys just had one of the guttiest uh, wins in recent memory here in the finals. Yeah, nobody's really celebrating. Um, can you just speak to like the, the family like um, connection that you guys have? Uh, it's, it was striking to see uh, Bob Myers and um, Clay Thompson uh, and Steve Kerr uh, feeling so somber after such a great win. Can you speak to that, please? Everybody gets so wrapped up in you know, chasing championships and the greatness that you see on the floor, but life is more important in terms of you know, caring about a, an individual and, and what they're going through on a daily basis. And you see the, I mean, the commitment and, and the challenges and the, just the, what's been thrown at, at, at Katie, you know, this, this whole year really. And he gave us what he had. He, he went out there and sacrificed his body. And you know how it turned out. So a part of our mentality and like the experiences, the shared experiences that we have as a team and what we've all been through, that's way more important than anything that happens out there, you know, long term, anything that happens on the court. And I just feel so bad for him, to be honest. Like that's nobody should have to go through something like that, especially with this, this stage that we have. Third row in the back. Steph, uh, Jonathan Show with Dia TV. What did you say to KD after the injury, and what did he say to you? Honestly, I don't know. It was a, kind of an emotional moment all the way around. Something told me just to go back there, and um, I really don't know what I said or what he said. It's just sucks, man. Like, I don't really know what else to say about it, so that's it. Ramona in the back. Staff, Ramona Shelburne, ESPN. Bob Myers was in here, and he, and he said the people that questioned whether he wanted to get back were wrong. Kevin is one of the most misunderstood people. He's a good teammate, and I'm lucky to know him. What do you think Bob means when he says he's one of the most misunderstood people? When you were on this this level of greatness and everybody's kind of poking and prod and trying to, you know, narrate your story and tell you who you are, who you should be, what decisions you should make constantly over and over and over again. It's part of, you know, what comes with this territory, but it's just when you get to know somebody and see how genuine they are and how committed they are just to playing basketball and having fun and, and and living life a certain way you root for those type of guys and like you said whatever his outward appearance is or whatever he says to the media or whatever like at the end of the day the people that know him know what type of guy he is and um, you know how special of an individual he is so all those emotions come into it when you see him go down like that where he's giving us everything he has um and it's not even about, you know, this series. It's about long term, you know, his mindset and, and being able to get back to the, the player and the person that he's shown, you know, consistently over, over the course of his career. Chris, standing over here. Chris Haynes, Yahoo Sports. Stuff to your left. Um, you touched on it a little bit, but out of all the players that walked Kevin Durant all the way back to the locker room, you were the only one that was still in the game at that time. And... You know, with in the NBA final stage when your timeouts are limited and the seconds are going by, you guys got to get a play up. Why did you feel it was so necessary to kind of go at that point? Sometimes the spirit tells you what to do. You don't really make decisions. You just act on it. So I can't tell you what went through my head. I just it felt right. Second row on your right. Steph Metch, and I'm in Barry News Group. Are you able to put into words the challenge of regrouping after something like that? Is it more something that's said, or is it just based off instinct? I don't know. I mean, it's going to be a a rough go in terms of just trying to recalibrate. We, we've been up until this point. It's been about you know our hope that he could play and our hope to stay alive in this series and. You know, the emotional roller coaster of what tonight was. 
get on this flight tomorrow, um, go back to the drawing board when we get home. And I think the biggest thing, the biggest advantage is, you know, being in, at Oracle Arena one more time where our fans can really get behind us. And, you know, we're going to have to will ourselves, you know, for another 48 minutes to stay alive and whatever it's going to take from every single guy in in that jer in, in our jersey. So I, I I don't know really what the what if there's going to be a speech in the locker room, if there's going to need to be words at all. Um, we understand the moment, and I think we can we can rally. Um, consider how the second half went tonight. Left side over here, Steph. After Kevin went down, the crowd almost cheered. Can you maybe give some of your reaction to that? I've been in this city for, I've lived here. Uh, I really enjoyed the people and their passion and excitement for not only the game, but just uh, when you come in, they just enjoy you know, life and the nice people. Very confused around that reaction. Um, it's not my experience with you know, the people of this city. And I commend, obviously, Danny Green and, and Kyle Lowry especially. I think they were the ones that were kind of signaling to the crowd, like, let's, let's check ourselves a little bit and understand that this is about an individual and a human being and not, oh, shoot, he's out, he's hurt, we won the championship. Like, that was probably their initial thought. And um, you hate to see, to see that when a guy's going, you know, through pain like that. So... Again, that's not my experience with this city, and I just hope uh, that ugliness doesn't show itself again um, as we go forward in this series. Last three, front right, Robert, then Mark. Steph, Valeria Rubino, V-Sport, what kind of statement was made tonight about the character of this team and also about the mindset going back to Oakland? Clay said you're going to keep fighting for KD now. I mean, we've made a lot of different statements over the course of these five years. And, you know, win or lose, I don't feel like we need to prove anything anymore. It's just about can we get the job done or not. And obviously, like I said, tonight was an emotional roller coaster from start to finish. And, and we have another game to play on Thursday, so we'll be ready for it. But there's no more statements need to be made about who we are as a team and our heart and our competitiveness and, and whatnot. We want to win this championship. We're going to give everything we got, but I think we're done with you know proving people wrong or making bold statements with our play. People know who we are. Robert? No. Robert Littal, BSO. Uh, even though Kevin was hurt, uh, he went to Instagram and he said, Dub Nation going to be loud as F for game six. I'm hurting deep in my soul right now. I can't lie, but seeing my brothers get this win was like taking a shot of tequila. I got new life, LOL, hashtag dubs. What, how does that make you feel, even though he's hurting, that he's still, you know, thinking about you guys, thinking about game six, still being a, a leader and trying to let you guys know that even though you guys feel so bad, uh, that he's going to be right there with you? I think it goes back to what Bob was saying about him being misunderstood in terms of what's important to him. Playing basketball is important. Being a good human being is important. The selflessness of, like you say, going through a situation like he's going through right now. He has the initiative to go, you know, speak to an entire fan base and to, you know, hype us up as, as his teammates and his brother. So um, I expect nothing, nothing less or nothing different in terms of you know how he responds to this. Although he's going to go through some 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 challenges through this process, you know whatever however long it takes, but we're going to be there for him, for sure. Mark, last question. Steph, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. You know, you hear a lot of times players talk about a guy who goes down, who inspires them. It's clear what your feelings are about this player and this guy. How much? Can Kevin Durant's spirit still lift this team in a spot like this? I think just in terms of the opportunity we have in front of us, like, you know, in, in two days, you know, we'll, we'll be suiting up in front of Oracle Arena, like you said, with the amazing atmosphere and 
an opportunity to play for him and to kind of honor the, the sacrifice I guess he made in terms of putting his body on the line tonight. And we're going to give everything we got. I'd like to say it's guaranteed a win, but who knows how it's going to end up. But we're going to give everything we got. We're going to fight. We're going to compete. And I know if we get a chance to talk to him in the next two days, that's what he would expect. So um, I'm excited about that proposition um, in terms of what we have to do on Thursday. But at the end of the day, it's still heartbroken for a guy that uh, gave everything he had for us.